Okay, let's zoom into Movavi and figure this out. So here you are in Movavi and you've added your video clip or photo down into the timeline. Now, with your clip selected, you will need to navigate to the pan and zoom options. And there are a couple ways to do this. The first way is by selecting the more tools icon. This icon is located at the very bottom of the tool column with the four small squares. After you have selected more tools, proceed by clicking on the video editing dropdown tab and then select the pan and zoom option, which is found on both the dropdown list and over to the right in the tool gallery. There is another way to easily access the pan and zoom tool. Simply right click on your video clip or photo, select the tools option, and then pan and zoom. Wait, why are all my pan and zoom options not available? They're all like grayed out. Oh, this can happen if you haven't selected a clip first. Before selecting an effect, you will need to first select a clip for which you will be adding the effect to. Once you have selected your clip, you should immediately notice your options become available. Now that you've opened the pan and zoom gallery, you'll see six preset options provided. By clicking on one of the options provided, you will be shown an example of the effect in your main preview window. Of the six here, these four highlighted options pertain to panning. And again, those will be covered in another video. These two highlighted options are for zooming in or out. To add one, simply click and drag your desired effect onto your clip in the timeline. And after you have added this, watch your clip through and you will notice it's most likely in need of some editing. Let's get into that now. Now you could choose either of these two options and regardless of whether you choose zoom in or zoom out, you will see two keyframes appear and they will appear in the form of two circles with a white arrow between them. These keyframes can be adjusted by clicking and dragging each circle individually and can be moved anywhere within the clip. Hang on, what exactly are these keyframes? Like, what do they do? Great question. Keyframes are basically just snapshot moments in your video or photo. And the first keyframe is the moment of which the zoom begins. And the second keyframe is the moment it ends. The zooming effect lives between two or more different sized keyframes. So down on your clip, the further apart you set the keyframes, or little circles, the slower the zoom will be. And the closer you set the keyframes together, the quicker the zoom will happen. Okay, adjusting the timing sort of makes sense now, but how would I like zoom into a specific spot in my scene? Glad you asked. So remember how we talked about the first and second keyframe being like little snapshots in time? Well, they are also like little snapshots within your scene as well. And so just like how down in your clip, you can pick the timing of when the zoom transition starts and ends, up in the preview window, you can also pick a specific area within your scene to start your zoom from and pick what area in your scene you would like the zoom to end. Remember, the zooming effect lives between two or more different sized keyframes. So as a quick example, if you start with a large keyframe and end with a smaller keyframe, then you will create a zoom in effect. Okay, let's go over how to adjust the keyframes within your scene and then watch an example. To begin adjusting the placement of either of these keyframes, click on one of the circles. If done correctly, that little circle you clicked should now be red. Next, come up to your preview window where you will find a corresponding red rectangular outline. This red outline is a keyframe and you can now adjust the size and placement of it within your scene. To reposition, just click and drag your desired placement and to resize, just use the little corner adjustments or roll the little wheel on your computer mouse. Once you have decided on your keyframe placement, you can proceed to edit the other keyframe by clicking on the other little blue circle and following the same steps as before. Once you have edited both keyframes, you will want to watch it over to see if corrections need to be made. And of course, to do this, just grab your timeline selector and pull it ahead of your keyframes and click the play button. Or as I like to do, just tap the space bar on your keyboard. Check it out. We now have a pretty cool zoom effect. Okay, I think I got this, but what if I mess up and need a do over? Easy, simply right click on the corresponding circle located on your clip and select reset keyframe. Here, you also have the option to remove the keyframe or remove all keyframes within the selected clip or photo. Personally, when I want to remove a keyframe, I just select the little circle and hit the delete key. Hey, if you like this video as much as I did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.